So uh, boat friends around 4.15 p.m. Central Time, the Midway. You recall I did the video where I circled around this ship on my boat. We did a 360 tour of it. It's actually coming inbound now. It was sitting at anchor for five days. And so now we're going to be able to see it up close, come through the piers. 59 degrees here in Duluth, Minnesota. Wind 11 miles per hour out of the southeast. You can see the flags are blown in the direction towards the bridge. So the wind is going to be at the back stern side of the vessel. And there's the red flag. That's the highest level rip current warning. And we're going to go take a look right here. The lake is a little, little wild today. Got some waves. So there should be some action with the midway coming through. Give you a feel for what's up. And as always, when we have the waves, we have some people out on surfboards. I'm on the South Pier. I wanted to give you a clear, unobstructed shot so we can take a look at this vessel coming in. Now, if you remember in that video, just how beautiful that blue was on there, there's a couple comments from some of the boat friends that were saying it was an indigo blue. They said that's what the color was. But here you go, aerial lift bridge going up 135 feet. Take a look at the overcast sky there on the hillside, West Duluth. I was considering doing a live stream on this one, but I just wanted to have 4K quality. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that way when I do go live, it can happen pretty quick, you will be notified and we'll be doing this together. So make sure you subscribe and we'll get rocking and rolling on some of these ships as they come in. Take a look at these light poles. Looks like there's a bird on almost every single one of them. So let's start here at the first one. I'm going to zoom all the way down. I think we're pretty much covered except those last two, but possibly there is one there on that last pole. But they're going to be watching this ship come through with us. Let's take a look at the turnout on the North Pier. A few people came out. Pretty windy, a little cool. The jackets are definitely out in Minnesota. There's no doubt about that. But this is going to be an impressive ship for everybody to watch as it comes inbound here to Duluth. Let me get you quickly caught up on marine traffic. You can see the Midway doing 8.4 knots coming inbound. Right here is the Duluth area lift bridge where we are at. It's going to go through the harbor basin around Rice's Point under the Blotnik and right here at the tip of the pen. That is the CHS terminal and it's going to load wheat. Right next to it is Fraser Shipyards in Superior, Wisconsin. Midway, 623 feet in length, built in 2010 in China. The owner is the Pole Steam organization, and you'll see that right there on the side of the vessel. They're out of Poland. Cargo capacity, 20,000 tons, six holds, six hatches. It does have a bow thruster, three large cranes on deck, which we'll look at, one controllable pitch propeller. Its port of registry is Malta, and that's an island just south of Sicily. Well, here you go, boat friends. Now we're starting to see that blue in the previous video that I did, that beautiful blue. You can see there's some wear, scuffs. Looks like there's another little boat following it in. You can see it has a bulbous bow. Looks like a nose on the front that reduces resistance going through the waves. Dual anchors, and here's those big cranes that you can see. Just a beautiful, beautiful ship. Definitely one of my favorites now. Take a look at the draft marks. Now you can see those anchors. You can see the radar there, and it looks like the horn is on the bow. Let's get a good look at this boat, friends. Cruising smoothly through. <laughs> See that bulbous bow right there? Well, get a load of this boat, friends. Very tall, great looking vessel. Look at that superstructure. 
You can see the flying bridge right on the top with the communication equipment. I was listening to Marine Radio and I heard the pilot boat go bring a pilot out to navigate this vessel in. Now here it goes under the Duluth aerial lift bridge. Look how cool that is. Check out that boat that they have right there on that crane. But here's a good full look at this beautiful vessel. Look at that blue. Look at the rudder that is sticking up out of the water. I can already see there is a, a tug in the distance. So I'm going to have to take a look on marine traffic and verify which tug that is. No point to walk away just yet. I can walk with you down the pier. I can see crew members out on deck starting to do some work, probably preparing some ropes for the tug that's going to help them right now. Guess what? We have two tugs. Take a look at the right side of the screen. There's one. Another one just went around the other side, starboard side of the ship. Well, boat friends, I hope you're cool with an extended version video because we're rolling with this one. Plenty of action. Lots of people out here taking pictures, videos, admiring the ship. We're going to go right down to the very end. I'm going to take up a position right there in that corner, and we're going to observe what's happening. Okay, so I verified the tugs. The one that you see right there coming up on the stern, that's the Kentucky. You will see another one that will be coming around the starboard stern side. That is the North Carolina. See, they just threw down a rope. I'm looking at marine traffic. The other tug, the North Carolina, is on the bow starboard side, so on the other side of the vessel there. So we're not really going to be able to see that, but take a look. Some cool action. And now what's going to happen is the vessel is going to be traveling in this direction, and you can see the bridge right over there on the left portion of the screen. It's going to go under that bridge, and just right on the other side is that CHS terminal where it's going to load that wheat. But guess what? Got some tugs. Got an ocean-going vessel. Beautiful ocean-going vessel at that. And there you go. And boat friends, you know I appreciate you watching the videos. Make sure you subscribe so you're ready for my live streams when I go out. But I'll be out here with the next vessel. And if you're interested in additional videos, here's a few to choose from.